Okay, I just abruptly stopped that last video, and uh, the video I'm referring to is the one about the weather, manufactured weather, and I wanted to go into detail about that because the way it looked, it looked like I was just rushing something up, and I just want to talk a little bit more in depth about that. You know, um, well, we all know that I'm only speaking for the Southern Hemisphere because I, I really can't speak for any other portion of the United States of America. But I'm telling you, we had some of the warmest temperatures here, you know, uh, over the winter time, you know, and, and then we get this burst of cold, um, uh, blowing air. Um, I remember as a child, it used to be cold and the wind didn't have to blow in order for it to be cold. It was just cold. Now the wind have to blow uh, just violently, just for you to get a chill. That's not real. Look, family, what they do is they use liquid nitrogen, you understand, to cool the atmosphere. Look it up. Liquid nitrogen is where you're getting your cold temperatures from, okay? Eventually, that won't work, so they will will continue to, you know, uh, uh, increase these cold temperatures until uh, there's going to be a point where ice will just be packed up on rooftops, uh, on streets. It's really going to get bad. You know, it may come, it may become a time where where if you go outside, you may just be injured by that liquid nitrogen. It's the honest truth. You see what I'm saying? One day I was passing by the airport and I saw liquid nitrogen trucks going in and liquid nitrogen trucks going out. A lot of people may say, well, mama, they just use those on the planes. But no, no, no. I think it's more sinister than that. I actually believe that when you see those con chemtrails, that's what I think they are. They call them contrails, but those are chemtrails. That is actually, you know, that liquid nitrogen that they're spraying out there to seed cloud, you know, your cold temperatures. That's that's where you're getting them from. And, you know, we I also went to that nuclear plant. Somebody said, no, that's not a nuclear plant. That was something else. Uh, what they said, a, a coal-powered plant or something like that, a steam-powered plant. You know where we get our energy from. Anyways, it goes. If you can look at those clouds packing up in the sky, they are covering up the sun and there's a reaction to that. That's producing cooler temperatures, okay? They have a reason for everything that they're doing, okay? You're not going to tell me that all of those clouds that were in the sky, that, that some kind of a way they were not affecting, you understand, the temperatures here on the planet. Okay, and it's going on all over the planet. Those weird clouds. When I was a child, they didn't have those clouds did not exist. They were natural clouds. And I'm gonna get into where the natural clouds went. Okay, bye-bye.